Mr. Chairman, um, you know, I would like to make a bill draft motion, you know, because I've watched this this debate three years and I think it's time that we have it. So I would I would move that we direct the LSO to draft a bill that would transfer the Department of Audit to the legislature as a division of LSO would combine it with the current audit staff with an LSO, the performance audit staff, and would give that department three functions, the ability to do performance audits, the ability to do financial audits, performance audits are already uh, statutorily given to the LSO. So we'd add financial audits, and then also the ability at the direction of the legislature and the oversight of the legislature to do election audits of, of counties. And I no uh, budget increase, on this on this new office, um, we're just going to move it into LSO and and have the oversight over it like Arizona, and it would be led by an auditor general that would be uh, selected, recommended from the management audit committee to the full legislature via resolution, the same way they do it in Arizona. So that's the motion. Hey, you've heard the motion. Is there a second? Second by Representative Stivar. So. Heard the very specific motion. Is there any discussion? Senator Bouchard. So uh, my question is, Mr. Chairman, is have we looked at the budgetary issues on how we're gonna pay for that? So that's, that's the biggest thing that I think is the problem. Uh, understand when I moved this idea three years ago, it was more so to get a handle on the legislature has a handle on what's going on and has the ability to look in inside the box. Uh, what you're talking about is something totally different. What they have is an inspector general down there, which actually has a power to do things independently of the legislature uh, is how they, I, I believe how they structured their government. So, uh, and the other thing I want to bring up and, you know, I'm going to be on the record because I'm sick and tired of hearing about it. Why don't we go to your clerk and you audit your election and see if you were duly elected? Because the problem we're having by talking about this here is you're you're making everybody think that we have a problem here in Wyoming. And that that is wrong to our clerks. That is wrong to our state on elections. Because Mr. This, Chairman, point of order, right? The, the senator is is impugning uh, intent on something. So okay. Well, I have a question along. I guess I'll ask you a question, Representative Gray. Uh, and I Correct me wrong, but the Department of Audit does not currently perform election audits. And so I guess the question is, how are we going to increase the scope of the audit, state auditor without increasing their budget? I just want a question on the motion. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, so I, I first of all, to respond to that, you know, first of all, to to say that there's no role for the legislature to to audit elections, I think, uh, which was just just asserted by the senator. Uh, from Laramie County, Senator Bouchard is very troubling. Um, the legislature has the, has the oversight ability to audit elections. That doesn't mean we're impugning anybody uh, or saying we have the ability to have that investigation. And that's the point here. And um, I, there's no budget difference in my motion. We're going to transfer the Department of Audit to the legislature, and we're going to prioritize. And I think, frankly, we can do more with the same amount and do better, um, or at least do, do, do comparable. And um, I think that to have this in the executive branch creates a lot of problems. So just looking at these models, you know, I've been thinking a lot about, <laughs> about this, I've been on this committee three years, and all I hear is talk about it. I never hear anybody bring a motion. I, I, you know, I, I think it's time for us to talk about what the proposal would be. Thank you. And Senator Guru, you're up next. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, on and against, uh, you know, <laughs> that's another one of these deals. Um, with all due respect, um, you know, in my business life, I've learned one thing. When somebody says it's not going to cost any more money three times, it's going to cost more money. That's just a fact. So I've heard it now three times that this is going to cost any more money. This is now officially going to be a budget buster. And first of all, we have the authority, legislature has the authority to do everything we need to do within our power. And I agree with Senator Perkins that we are doing it. And so this, I'm, I'm sorry, but this out-of-body experience that some of these members on this committee feel that they're in 
that they're powerless to do anything and somehow that nothing's been done, um, I think is, is, is speaks to themselves more than it speaks to the work of this committee. Uh, I think a great deal of the work of this committee. I've been on it for a couple of years myself. And like I say, if there's shortcomings on it, then I'll stand, I'll stand ready to talk about them and take blame if we need to. But we have the power to do it. We have the power to do that without this bill. Vote no on this. I reject this motion. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay, committee. And just a reminder, let, let's focus on the substance of the motion. Let's uh, try to keep personalities out of it. And uh, just it's a it's an idea that's before us. Let's focus on the idea and, uh, and just try to focus on the merits of it. Okay, so any further discussion? Though I, I've got a feeling that a lot of people already made up their minds. Representative Gray. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I did want to respond to that last comment. I mean, we just heard from two members, uh, the chairman, and I appreciate your comments, and Senator Perkins that said, we can prescribe this by law. And the frustrations with the continued uh, discussion about the constitutionality of current setup. So that's what this motion does, is we're going to prescribe by law. Um, there's disagreement on what's occurring right now, whether it's uh, constitutional or not. But I think it, it, it's in line with what was said at the end of the last colloquy, which was uh, that we can prescribe by law where this is going to be, what this is going to do. And I think it's time that the legislature takes this function and does financial audits, performance audits, and in light of the problems that, that we've seen across the country, also has the discretionary ability to manage election audits as well. That's all this motion does, and it's uh, budget neutral, and um, that, that's what it does. Thank you. Okay, Representative Brown. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just a quick question. I, the, the term that was just used kind of baffles me a little bit, and I just would like some clarification. The discretionary power to audit elections, uh, where does that discretionary power reside? Is that with the body of the legislature that we would then need to pass a resolution at any time we would like, like to see an election audited and it would have to go through the entire process of being done there? Is it uh, the state or the auditor general that you're talking about would have that authority to say he'd like to do this? Where is that discretionary power coming from? I just maybe a little bit of information. I know we're talking about a hypothetical bill draft, but um, I, I, that's a, it's a very large term that I'd like a little clarification on. Hey, Senator Bouchard. Um, Mr. Chairman, I want to let you know, I've, I've done a lot of looking into this and I've heard so much stuff about ES and S machines, how, how they were somehow at the root of a problem. And that, yet I've talked to several states where people were on the ground and, and they told me all these stories and then I said, yeah, but I'm asking you about ENS machines, ESNS machines. And oh no, we don't use those. One of the things that the ENS, uh, ESNS machines have is an audit function in them. And uh, I, I don't want to uh, go beyond the scope of what I should be speaking about here because this is, this is something that happens on the, in the elections division. But uh, they have the capability and they've tested it. And uh, I just think we're going way beyond. And, and quite frankly, I'm disgusted that you're pulling this, this election issue because you're running for office here. Okay, let's, let's focus. No, we really need to focus on the substance of the issue, please. We can save the, I know there's a greater political context here, but let's focus on the motion. If we keep on strength from that, we're gonna just yeah. vote, vote on the motion. Yeah, and Mr. Let's Chairman, he's discussion. talking about himself. Hey, excuse me, Representative Gray, actually I haven't recognized you yet. Yeah. Okay. So does everybody understand? I've asked once to not have this become personal. That was ignored. It happens one more time. We're just going to vote on the motion. Okay. Representative Gray. Mr. Chairman, I mean, someone just made an accusation. Am I allowed to respond to that? Yes, but please understand we have to maintain. Let's, I'm sure you have ample opportunity to respond outside the context of this meeting. Okay. We really, we do have to say, otherwise yeah, it, it never fine. stops. It just never stops. So I think everybody understands what the motion is. We that's fine. Discussed it. And I'm sorry, I, but this isn't a, a public debate like, you know, like you're in a campaign. And so there's slightly different rules. We have to stay focused on yeah. the legislative business, if that makes sense. Rules are not going to uh, uh, Okay. So any further discussion? Mr. Chairman, I'd like to respond to Representative Brown's point. Who? Representative Brown's oh, point. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Representative Brown. 
So I think that it would be in the crafting of this bill where we would work that out. But my, you know, and it was kind of in the motion that management audit would have oversight over this. So I think it would be a combo call with leadership, uh, the management audit committee, and when we're in session, the full legislature via resolution. But outside of session, I think it would be the management audit committee and leadership that would have oversight over, uh, over the agency or over the, the department of LSO, whatever you want to call it. Any further questions or discussions on the motion before us? Question on the motion. Okay, all those in favor of the motion, raise your hand. Let's just go with raise your hands. Keep them up. Okay, I count two. All those opposed, raise your hand. I count one, two, three, four. Mayor James, is that your hand up? Okay. Okay, that motion fails.